If you were looking for a repair video for the Canon GX 4020, stay tuned because today that's what we're gonna be doing. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer repair video. And today we've got the Canon GX 4020. Basically, if you're not able to print a certain color, you're printing blank pages, or you have an overall and general print quality issue, you're gonna wanna watch this entire video. Basically what has happened is your print head has become clogged, and what you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to break or unclog that blockage that is in your print head. What you can expect out of this video is an introduction giving you some basic information that kind of prefaces the rest of the video. Then I'm gonna be showing you how to actually perform this cleaning with the best printers cleaning kit. Now, it is absolutely necessary that you get yourself this product. This is what we're gonna be using to solve this specific problem. What you're gonna be getting in the box is some cleaning solution, you're going to be getting a 20 milliliter syringe and you're going to be getting attachments with those attachments there will be some plastic gloves so there is going to be a link down in the description below at any point during this video you can go down to the description box click that link get one for yourself and come back and watch the rest of this video now if you're new to the channel welcome everything printer related from printer repairs to printer unboxings and everything in between is what you're going to find on this channel if this video ends up being helpful please make sure to like any questions at all comment below and if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. There's also going to be other product links that I end up mentioning along the way in this video. All of those product links will be down in the description below. This product along with this method that I'm going to show you in this video has saved thousands of people hundreds of dollars uh, with saved ink, saved printers, and you're just able to get back up and running normally again much quicker. You don't have to go through uh, setting up a new printer. You don't have to waste a bunch of money. All you need is this product and the solution and you'll be back up and running in no time. That's really all I have for now. Why don't we get right into this repair? All right, so the very first thing we need to do with this printer is we need to prepare it to actually remove the print head because the print head is removable on this printer and the first thing we need to do is print a nozzle check. The nozzle check is going to show us what colors are giving the most issues. If there's any colors that are actually not printing, it's going to give us all the information that we need. So it's very important that you print out this nozzle check. Once the nozzle check is printed, you can then move on to printing another nozzle check for the sake of unplugging the printer. That sounds a little bit drastic, but that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, believe me, there's no damage that will happen to the printer from this. I've done it many times with many different printers. It's the only way to unlock the print head. In some cases, there are settings within the printer, but in this case, uh, we're doing it this route. So once the printer is unplugged, we can now go into actually lifting up the top of the printer and assessing where the print head is. We can move it in place. And this is where the best printers cleaning kit comes into play. This is what we're gonna be using to solve this problem. If you haven't already, pause the video, click the link down in the description below for the best printers cleaning kit. So you have it coming on the way and you can have it ready to use as soon as possible and get your printer up and running in no time. In this case, with this specific printer, you're gonna need a small plastic tub like this that is deep. Uh, because you're going to be using this to actually clean the print head. You'll see that later on in the video. We're removing the maintenance box right now so that we have better access to the print head. When the print head is in this position that you see here on screen, you are going to lift the number one tab. You're going to pull it back and you're going to lift the number two tab. And that is actually going to free up the print head. You can actually take the print head, remove it from the print head carriage, and now what you're gonna do with this print head is you're gonna place it in that plastic tub. Now we can actually begin the cleaning process and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cleaning kit, we're gonna put on those plastic gloves like you saw earlier on in the video, we're gonna take out this syringe with the tubing already attached, and then there is gonna be a small L-shaped piece. You can see it there in the bag. We're gonna get that out because we're actually gonna be using that on this print head. Once you've got a hold of that L-shaped piece, you're going to then be attaching it to the silicone tubing that is on the syringe. Now you have 20 milliliters capacity in the syringe. It's very important because you can actually push more solution through for a longer period of time. That's very important in this process. And you're gonna be attaching that L-shaped piece just like you saw there on screen. 
There's a second time for you to see. And the other end of that is actually going to attach to the inverted color nozzle. Now you're gonna to have to determine which nozzle holds which color because you really wanna make sure that you know what exactly you're cleaning. In this case, we are cleaning out the black nozzle. And so you have a yellow, black, cyan, and magenta. That is the color pattern going from left to right. And you can verify that by squirting through maybe five milliliters, you'll see what color is coming through. You want to make sure to clean the colors that are giving you the most issues. So this would be a good time to look at that nozzle report. Take a look at what colors are causing the problem or what colors are not printing at all. Those are the ones that need to be cleaned in this process. If you have a color that's coming out perfect, there's really no need to clean it. I honestly would stay away from cleaning it if it's doing good, but if it has any breakage within that, those test lines that you saw on the nozzle report, you're gonna wanna do a cleaning and do a full cleaning. What I would say is do 10 milliliters at a time on each color that's giving you the most issues, and you can go from there little by little, uh, but if you push a whole 20 milliliters through, uh, you may be left without enough cleaning solution. So you want to disperse it as you see fit. In this case, I'm doing black and cyan. One very important point is that you want to make sure that you have new ink to install in the printer for whatever color you end up cleaning. So there's going to be a link down in the description below for some brand new ink. I'm going to be leaving an option for remanufactured ink so it's a lot less expensive. There is staining that can happen with this ink so you want to wear the gloves. You just want to make sure that everything is clean and use the cleaning fluid. Uh, you could use it to actually clean off you know, some of the excess ink that ends up getting on the print head. So you really just wanna make sure at this point, once you're satisfied and done with the cleaning and pushing through that cleaning solution, what you need to do now is clean off the print head, make sure it's totally dry, and you are not, you are not installing the print head yet. You're waiting 24 hours. After the 24 hour time period has transpired, you then can bring this print head over to the printer and you can reinstall it into the printer. It is vitally important that you do not install a print head that is moist, wet, or anything that has liquid, you know, condensation around it. You don't want any liquid. You want it to be totally dry. So dry it off with paper towels and then wait 24 hours for it to be totally dried on the, you know, all over, especially on that back motherboard that it has uh, that connects to the printer. The next step is to plug in the power cable and power on the printer. Now, this is not where the repair ends. You're gonna need to turn on the printer, go into the settings, and you're actually gonna go into maintenance, and you're gonna do one of two things. You're going to do a deep cleaning, and you're gonna do a print head cleaning until you get these results that you see on screen. This is what you want to see on your nozzle report. This is a healthy nozzle report. You're gonna be able to print normally, and these are good results. So hopefully this video ended up being helpful. Remember the products, links down in the description below, the Best Printers Cleaning Kit, the remanufactured ink. I hope this video was helpful. If you need additional support, visit bestprinterstech.com. That is a support website. That's really all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time.